It's a 600-page report that makes for sobering reading. Among its findings, that the ACT's Director of Public Prosecutions, Shane Drumgold, knowingly lied, made scandalous allegations about the police that were wholly false and without any rational basis and that he lost objectivity and did not act with fairness and detachment as required by his role. The Board of Inquiry was brought about by an explosive letter written by Mr Drumgold himself after the collapse of Mr Lehrman's trial. There are no findings against Mr Lehrman and he maintains his innocence. The inquiry Mr Drumgold called for in his letter was led by former Queensland Judge Walter Sofronov and held public hearings over several weeks. But during the inquiry, Mr Drumgold wound back his allegations, including his fears there'd been political interference in the investigation. This inquiry has thoroughly examined the allegations in Mr Drumgold's letter. Each allegation has been exposed to be baseless, Walter Sofronov writes in his report. The inquiry acknowledged a deep distrust developed between prosecutors and police from the start, leading to misunderstandings on both sides. But a change to a file note about whether TV presenter Lisa Wilkinson was warned about her Logie speech attracted severe criticism of Mr Drumgold. I do not accept that Mr Drumgold's misstatements about the nature of the note were a mere mistake that he made. I find that Mr Drumgold knowingly lied to the Chief Justice. The ACT government is now under increased pressure to release the report. The ACT Chief Minister needs to front the media and needs to deliver a full explanation today. It is absolutely essential that the report be released in full immediately. Bruce Lehrman has welcomed the findings. Well, he needs to resign, and if he doesn't resign, um, he needs to be removed. Shane Drumgold wouldn't comment on the findings today, saying he hasn't seen the report. Late this afternoon, the ACT government released a statement saying it was disappointed the report had been leaked, but says it will now formally release the report early next week. Elizabeth Byrne, ABC News, Canberra.